Well, colleges and universities around Indiana are adapting to the COVID-19 pandemic. In Columbus, the campus of IUPUC has turned its new mental health counseling center into a free teletherapy program. Barbara Lewis is in for Kylie Valletta in the business of health. Barb? Gary, good to see you. Well, this program was nimble enough to keep its mission of training new mental health counselors and helping students and the Columbus residents. So joining me to talk about the program is its director, Dr. Darren Carr, and Dr. Deidre Heyman, a clinical assistant professor of psychology and mental health counseling. It's good to have you both on the program. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. So let's talk about what's happening right now. Um, uh, Dr. Carr, can you explain to me, or, or Dr. Heyman, um, what exactly are the services you're offering? Okay. At the Tom and Barbara Sholkoff Community Counseling Center, uh, which was developed as a training clinic, we are currently offering uh, telehealth services. We're offering therapy services for the community. You know, the, um, the pandemic hit and lots of services uh, had to withdraw from the scene. We were actually supposed to have a grand opening in April and we're not able to do that in a physical way, but we have developed a virtual therapy service where our students can provide uh, individual therapy to a number of uh, clients. We're talking about um, students, other students. We're talking about relatives. We are open to the community as well as uh, the military. And given that we are in a very crucial time in our history, we want to also offer our services for free. So until this pandemic has um, released its grip uh, uh, from the country, we are offering our services free of charge. Typically, our students would receive services. If you were to be a student at Ivy Tech or at Purdue Polytechnic or here at IUPUC, those students would receive services free of charge, but we're extending that uh, to the community. In the uh, event that this pandemic does uh, ease some and we're able to see people face to face, um, we charge a very small fee. So an intake here would be approximately $15 and individual therapy sessions would be also $15. And so it's a very, very nominal fee designed to um, encourage as many uh, individuals willing to receive services to come to our clinic so that our students will be able to, to give services under the supervision of licensed um, right. clinical professionals. And, and let's have Dr. Carr then um, take it from that, that, that aspect of this part of this uh, program that's very important is its training aspect for uh, master's students in mental health counseling. So Dr. Carr, can you uh, tell us about that part of your program? Sure. So the Tom and Barbara Sholkoff Community Counseling Center is a training clinic, as Dr. Heyman mentioned, um, which means that people who receive services there do have their sessions recorded. And then that allows us to give those counselors in training uh, detailed feedback about what they're doing well and, and what they could possibly do a little bit better. Our students are enrolled in a 60 credit hour or two year master's program in mental health counseling. That's the first step toward licensure as a mental health counselor in the state of Indiana. And what has the interest been, Dr. Carr? Have you been, um, the demand for the actual training aspect of the program? Well, we're getting ready to graduate our next cohort in just a few weeks, and that will add five to the 41 alumni that we've graduated since the program started in 2012. Uh, actual demand for the profession is very high. Uh, the uh, Indiana Department of Workforce Development says that between 2016 and 2026, there is a 25% increase in the number of mental health counselors that will be needed in Indiana. Our incoming cohort this fall is the strongest it's ever been with uh, 13 out of a maximum of 15 uh, slots filled. Okay. So we're very excited, we're growing, and um, we're, we're happy to continue providing the service to the region. Okay. And, and Dr. Heyman, what has the demand been in terms of the, um, the students that would be um, uh, clients and then the community? And what sort of issues are they, are they needing um, counseling for? 
Okay. At this point, uh, we actually opened our virtual doors on the 18th, I think it was, of, of May. And the way that we did that was to advertise primarily to students. Okay. And uh, at at this point, we have approximately 15 students who are uh, involved with our our program, and I've actually slowed the advertising down because, as Dr. Carr mentioned, we're about to graduate our class, and currently, I've only got two student therapists working uh, for clients here at this clinic, and they have primary training sites. So, in the fall. We will have a class of six individuals who will be offering services, and then I'll begin to to ramp up my advertising again so that we can, uh, you know, bring in as many uh, clients as possible. The kinds of issues that we deal with include anxiety, depression, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, people who are dealing with normal life changes. Um, you see things like parenting challenges or um, life skills, you know, um, balancing their life role uh, activities, all kinds of things. There are some situations that we, because we are a training clinic, tend to um, send to other resources if you are actively suicidal or homicidal or you have uncontrolled psychotic episodes or something like that. If there's court involvement, um, those kinds of things uh, we would tend to refer to other resources simply because we don't often have the case management uh, assistance. We are not manned 24 hours a day like uh, clinics who could manage crises yeah. of that nature. Well, it sounds and, like, you know, yeah. It sounds like a wonderful program, and it's a wonderful resource not only for the uh, Columbus area and Bartholomew County, but also for the state. So thank you so much, both of you, for being my guest. Gary, back thank to you. you. All right, Barb, thanks. Great to have you back uh, in studio this week.